Hey everybody, welcome back to Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. I do hope you're having a great day today. Today we're going to focus more <clears throat> on getting our people, uh, getting more people in here. I've added a couple of, well, okay, a couple. I've added like a hundred people uh, to this building with the uh, pay for invite from the third world, right? Just clicking this. So I've uh, used a little bit of my dollars there to bring some extra people in. We want extra workers. That's what we want. That's basically everything that we want. And it says there's 40 people without a job. But if I tell them to go here, I really feel like they should just, you know, go here. Now, when you bring them in from the third world, of course, you're going to get a lot of population that just simply has no education at all. So they are going to go to school. And that's fine because we have lots of educated people over here. And in fact, this building, I don't know if you guys noticed this, but this building is almost entirely university educated people. You see, when you make better housing, the quality percentages, right? So I've, I've basically made new housing with higher percentage quality. And so people are actually not just the extra people moving over here, but it's other people who are like, hey, I want a better place of living and they're moving over here too. So university educated people are just like beelining it over here for the better quality housing because these ones are 96% quality on flats and these ones here are 83%. There's a significant difference there. And as a result, they'll also be a bit happier over here too. So our happiness should start going up as well. Now you might think that that's a bad thing, having all my university people moving over here. But in actual fact, if you hover over top of the walking paths where they can go, they all have a direct path to uh, the hospital, as well as the police station, as well as several different monuments, sports complexes, culture centers, even the technical university can be reached from this building. So overall, I'm okay with it. Except for the part where they can't get there until the paths are done. These are uh, light blue, but they can't quite get there yet. Crossing over here. So I'm going to have my road crews working on these walking paths and stuff, trying to make sure that they get all finalized and everything. Uh, we do have some water work happening over here, but the reservoir is done. Uh, the pump is pumping, although it cannot get to the substation yet because this isn't completed yet. So I just want to make sure that that is getting completed. I, I, I'm pretty sure it's, yeah, it's already selected. It's fine. I can get workers over here too. It's fine. Uh, but what we really want to focus on today is expanding for housing making sure that they're good and also i wanted to focus on loyalty and that means placing some of these monuments around so this one here is 94 percent. we do get people walking into the monument from the walking path and stuff as well uh if i don't specifically tell them where to work so this is unspecified uh these guys over here there's lots of people without a job and i should be able to just remove this and uh I mean, honestly, they really should be able to find it. I think there's enough people waiting over here to get over into this location. I want to kind of figure out what they're waiting for. So this person's not waiting for anything. That's interesting. Uh, now, somebody has said, and I don't know if this is true, because I have no way of really testing this. I've tried to follow people to see if it happens, but I have no evidence whatsoever that this is the case. So take this with a big grain of salt, because I don't know. Um, it's kind of like the, the rumor that trees help with pollution they don't it, they're just aesthetic you can cut them down uh you can put a whole bunch of trees in here it's not gonna have any effect on your pollution i don't know where that rumor starts but uh in in real life that makes sense but um not not in this game it doesn't work that way in this game so uh somebody said that if they walk here to get their needs fulfilled as a passenger and they time out so in other words they're waiting on this platform for over only an hour so 45 minutes right this person here for example uh, now, they said, this guy has 100% of his needs met, so I'm not entirely sure what he's waiting for. Um, he's near the end of his free time, though. The rumor, the, 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 what I'm being told in the comments, it's only one person, but I've heard it from several other sources, too, is that they will walk from this location after they time out waiting on this platform. They will walk from this location, and if as long as what they want is within walking distance of this location, then they will reach it. So effectively, if you have like, say this building and they walk to here, that's the distance. And then the distance that they'll walk starts over after they time out for the bus and then they can reach the shop. Or in this case, uh, in this particular commenter's case, uh, if they cannot reach the hospital directly, which in this case they can now because the new walking paths that are in. Uh, but if they couldn't reach this originally, then what they would do is they would, uh, they would walk here for the bus the bus would not pick them up, and then they would just walk to the hospital. Again, I found no evidence whatsoever that supports that theory. I cannot find, I can't follow anyone that wants to do that. I've been trying to figure it out. Uh, 
most of the time these guys just have a praying need but if i find somebody who has a need that is not praying uh for example electronics uh culture pray pray drink alcohol pray electronics you know so i, I can't find it if, if i find somebody though i'm gonna keep looking because i really want to confirm this and i want to be able to demonstrate it on screen that'd be really nice to be able to, to show that um but i just simply can't figure out how that works this guy right here okay look the zero 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 across the board all right i want to follow this guy or girl i honestly can't tell by the name but i want to follow this person so they've been waiting on this platform for just 11 minutes what i'm hoping happens is that the bus doesn't pick them up i'm hoping okay that bus missed them good how uh, about this one and nope they're still on the platform and okay they got on this bus unfortunately so i won't be able to look at that guy that's the reason why i can't confirm it. it's like people just don't i'm picking them up in time right so whatever in any case if you can find evidence of that or you can point me to a link or a video or something that demonstrates that they'll do that i would love it i would appreciate that um we got a fire in this building i have the complete confidence in my fire team to, uh, my crack fire team is gonna be awesome at that they're gonna be you'll be getting on the case right away okay Okay, I think I want this heat exchanger done. If we can get on, get on that. But there's no offices to it. Um, probably before we start making offices of this, I would like to make these actual roads. Um, I am going to start, you know, adding a few more asphalt roads and stuff as we go. But I really want a lot of these walking paths done so I can keep expanding on housing. The most important walking paths for me at the moment are these ones that are up close. Maybe not this one specifically, but this one is very important because I can't have anybody living here until they have a way out of here, right? So this is their way out of here. Um, they can take this dirt and go around this way, but they can't get this because this one isn't done either. So we need both of these done and uh, it's just taking a while, okay? We'll just go with a while to get these done. There's a lot of walking paths to do. Uh, let's take a quick look at budgets, right? We're looking at uh, a slight deficit this month so far. And um, while we were almost 20,000 positive, last month uh it looks like our loan balance we, we actually gained in the loan balance so that's that's why ideally what we want is our exports to exceed our imports in excess of our loan payments that's the trick it has to be in excess of your loan payment so currently my loan payments this uh month i've taken eight thousand off the balance and i've paid eleven thousand in interest so i'm paying more in interest now uh than the balance when I make my minimum payments. That's not good either. But if if we can somehow find a way to get this balance to match and be green, that's where we know we're good. So I have to keep working on this. For our imports so far this month, it's mostly steel. That's pretty much the big thing because uh, I, I needed to I need to make my rails so I can get my train. I need to uh, build the houses. We're done building the houses at the moment, so that should be fine. Um, I probably should figure out which vehicle is bringing in the prefabs and tell them to stop. Uh, they are already stopped. I always do this. I feel like I do this a lot. I'll, I'll stop it in between recordings, and then I'll forget that I had done that, and then <laughs> just go back and be like, oh, I need to do this. Um, this vehicle is 38%. I, I think I'm going to assign some of these guys to this other distribution office. So this distribution office here, I think I've decided against it. Even though there's some stuff already delivered, the expensive stuff is not delivered. And I think I've decided against building this. I wanted multiple distribution offices because these things are limited to 20 connections. But I think if we get 20 connections in this particular area, I don't think that's a necessarily a bad thing. And especially if we're focusing entirely on like covered halls and refrigeration and just moving things around for our citizens and stuff, I, I don't think that's going to be a big deal. What I think I'd rather have here instead is another technical services office. So that gives me three. We'll have this one plus this one. Uh, this one has two plows in it. So we have a little bit of snow plowing going on over here. Um, this one has, you know, all my garbage trucks and the one water and the one sewage truck. I'm thinking... I probably want to have a technical services office with a lot of plows right here. A lot of snow plows in this area would really help vehicles moving around and doing what they need to do in this area. And as we expand upon this area by adding, uh, well, we'll be adding a rail. That's not really trucks. But uh, as we as we get chemicals going and starting to transport those, uh, as we start to haul crops over here during the winter from the storage, all of that stuff is like it needs trucks to be able to move fluidly. 
And so I'm thinking probably having more in the technical services department would be fine. Uh, the other thing is um, having another water and sewage truck would be nice. As we start to build this area out, we may not have all that stuff connected right away because it's kind of remote. And so having additional trucks being able to go in and grab the sewage, provide water, et cetera, in this area would be good too. So I, I like the idea of having another building here. It's going to look nice and clean being connected like this. But technical services, I think, is going to be a little bit more useful to me. Rather than putting it here, though, because I could, and then the road's done, but I don't, I hate giving up these resources. I hate saying, you know, oh man, I wish I had another distribution office. I knew I was going to regret that. I, I think I'd rather leave the imprint there for now and uh, just not build it. And, uh, and instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and get the tactical services office here from here. And I, th I think I want to add it to be like right in between here. And, and so the plows will get on it and go out where they need to go from this location instead. I think that's going to be a better fit for me. Another winning situation for me. Um, I don't know about another winning situation. I don't know why I said it that way, but I think it's going to be a winning situation for me. I don't know about another. Uh, so I think maybe I'll place it here. I don't. The, the thing about this location, though, is that it's still in range of this bus stop potentially. And so like having buildings where people can be, right? Technical services doesn't need to be near people. So maybe over here is better. This would put it on the highways, near the highways, over into this area. Uh, why not both as well? Both is also a possibility. Over here, I think is maybe just a tad bit too far away. The bus stop is gonna, yeah, this is not, too, they, can, they can walk here. I've spaced these bus stops out to where they can pretty much cover each other. Like, this area is covered by almost both of them, I think. So, maybe not here. I, uh, I think I think I'm think i actually going to place it over here instead. I, I've changed my mind three times since recording this. <laughs> I don't know why. I just have. And uh, I'm going to say probably we start... We can start here. That way they can go towards that roundabout and out. Or they can come towards this roundabout and out. So, I'm going to face it this direction, I think. And I have to watch out for where my where my rail is going to be. My rail is coming around this bend, and it'll be crossing the road, I think, and coming. We're, we're, the, the, the big rail. There's gonna be a big rail coming through here. Uh, I might even do four tracks, but I think I'll start with two. And if I need four, I'll expand it. Uh, so I think by then, by by that account, I think this is probably a safe location. There's there's actually access to power here too. So let's go ahead and place this here right um then i want some asphalt being done here and i think this whole big stretch here we're gonna mark that to be the next asphalt road and i'm gonna also grab that little stretch there too all right so we'll get road crews to get on these two locations as well if they can with the walking paths still being marked as the high priority now speaking of priorities uh real quick deviation from that idea because this just finished uh i want to hit i so i already hit fire prevention industry those are the most expensive. Um, now I'm thinking maybe civil infrastructure. Residential apartments, I think, are... Um, I, I don't know if people die from that or if they just get displaced and move somewhere else. But either one of those things could be potentially detrimental to me in many, many ways. You're much less likely to have personal loss from this. So I'm going to go with residential apartments next. And then technical university, I want the pollution detector so that I know whether or not my pollution strategy is working. And I also want to see whether or not there are like green areas over here, if it's green here, if it's green here, etc. And that's going to tell me whether I can expand into housing in this spot. Because housing over here would work pretty well. There's access to a bus stop, the universities, etc. And I, I would, if I can do it, I'd really like to get like, say, another row of houses, maybe right in this little stretch. I think would be really cool. We could do it uh, kind of like this with the, the high quality housing, but we could stretch it out like this and go one, two, three, four, five right here probably. Maybe just maybe just the four, but that's still a really good housing block because they're right down the road from this. They can access every service possible. Uh, they get into this bus stop, adding more workers to my oil and my fuel and all that stuff would be really nice to have more workers in this place too. 
Uh, and we're do actually doing pretty well on that as well. In fact, we're doing so well on keeping up with fuel that I'm going to add another vehicle to my load fuel and unload it at the customs house route. Um, and in fact, maybe not add a vehicle, maybe just take away the stopping. So just let it do what it does to sell. And then maybe I'll copy that to another truck and have both of them do it. That might be for the best. I'll space them out a little bit, but we need to increase exports, right? If we want to be successful in this game, we got to increase exports or we're going to, we're going to drown uh, in debt, drowning in debt all day long. Yes. That's what we'll do. Uh, let's see. I want to mark some other roads to be asphalt, but yes, the walking paths are still more important. I haven't seen them. Okay. This one is done. Good. So that means this building can at least reach. Yeah. You can at least reach the bus stop. You can reach all these things. I think. Uh, the bus stop is a yes. Everything else, these are light blue, so that means they require a path to be completed before they can do it. Um, but if pending paths are completed, that will turn dark blue. So at the moment, they can reach the bus stop, and that's about it. Maybe the sports complex. I would very much like them to be able to reach university and all that other stuff, too. So we need this to be done before anything else, please. You guys are... Maybe bring workers here. I don't know. Like, do something, okay? Make this be a thing. Yes. And then this too. Make all this stuff be things. Yes, that's proper English, I think. All right. So this is a 5.2% influence, 415 meters. That means that all of these buildings that are green are covered by this monument. That's insane. But it's not everything. We got to do these over here too. So I'm going to add a couple more of these monuments because they're expensive, but they're very effective. Uh... There's like these other less effective, less expensive ones, but not by much. Like the, the difference between this monument resource cost wise and this one is negligible when you consider that the impact is double and the range is triple. Yes, almost triple. So that's crazy. Um, then there's the Lenin statue here too, which is pretty good in its own right, but resource cost difference. It's double the steel for this one, but you get uh, more impact and you get way more than quad you get you get quadruple the range so like still this is the best monument to, to, to build is the red star uh, and I'm gonna say that this red star monument we could put this I think right next to this school really drive home the propaganda to these young children <laughs> we'll put it over at this school here and uh, that will cover people in this area pretty well as well right on this bus stop as well so we'll, we'll pop that in we also want to put one over here in these work buildings too because while they're working they get influenced by this stuff uh so i'm thinking we could put one next to the waste or we could put actually here we could put one right here so this distribution office is useless we don't need it anymore so let's go ahead and destroy this you can also maybe get the deconstruction office or demolition office to take that road out we could put something else there um i want to I was going to put it... Yeah, let's put it right in the middle of this. Oh, yeah. Heck, yeah. This is where you do it. This is where you do it. Right here. Right there. In the middle of this. And uh, we'll put the dirt walking path. I want to do it on the asphalt because I don't have to upgrade that yet. And then why don't we get a short little segment of this road. It's it's a long process, man. We get a short segment of this road right there to be done as well. And we always want these to be high priority if they're on a roundabout like this. Uh, but especially if it's in a high traffic zone like this, we definitely need that done. They should still be able to pass through here, if I'm correct about that. I'm pretty sure they can still uh, pass through here. Uh, and so we'll get this monument added to the uh, the thing too, because this will in fact this will affect everybody uh, in a very wide radius. Uh, should be able to get the rail construction yard impacted and all that stuff. Are you? Okay, so you're the slow one, and you're still working. How about the fast one? Fast one's working too. Ooh, fancy. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Where'd it go? Right there. Fancy. Yep, get that rail stretched all the way out there, my friend. We need to get out there. Definitely need to get out there. Let's go ahead and let this guy go. And we'll have two, two trucks now selling fuel at the border. Assuming we can do this, I mean, granted, like I said, we're going to run out of oil if we do this, but if we can keep this supply up, we have to, we have to watch this actually. Let's, um, 
Let's go ahead and notify me if that's ever empty. I wish I could say notify of 10% or something. That's not a thing. It's just not. Uh, what we could do, though, is if this fills up and this starts to get fuel, then we could just have notified if this is empty, and that tells us that it's going down. But it's not as helpful. So. Bitumen keeps getting sold. So, I mean, our budget should look good here. This is what I want to see. 40000 plus on the green numbers here. Because if we take a look at the total budget this month, right, we still have like 29000 or so in our loan balance. Right? And our, our loan, we're, we're paying 45000 every 30 days right now. So this is a big number. As long as our exports exceed this number, and we don't import anything, which is never going to happen. So it, this number plus imports needs to be smaller than exports. It, it's simple math, I guess, on that. Um, and our imports right now, only 8500 We're not importing hardly anything. So that's great. That's, that's exactly what I want to do. This still needs done. Uh, this just has some work days. I don't think I quite have enough people to do that yet, but I'd really like to get started on it soon. Just not quite there on the people. Is this done? This is done. No, it's not. 88%. Two work days. Just curious. If, if, I, if I do this, will you guys work on that? Or will you walk around? I was just hoping maybe you would just work come out and work on this you probably can't because you're uneducated there's two educated people five eight eleven <laughs> come over here and work on this oh there you go we'll just let the roller finish that okay good now we can start bringing in people over here too let's spend some dollars in get some people over here they're of course going to go to the school get themselves educated first and we'll uh we'll have even more people at the bus stop hopefully waiting for some work okay i feel like i need to buy a bus I need an extra bus on that route, I think. So let me go real, real quick over here to the used market and see what we got. Micro buses. Yeah, this one's okay. It's 52 passengers. I mean, it's it's okay. I think I can make this work. The 70% wear is pretty bad, actually, though. Oh, the kindergarten's on fire. The kindergarten's on fire. As you hear them screaming. Oh my god, did you hear them screaming? They're burning! Quick, fire department, respond! They're burning! Think of the children! <laughs> there you go. Um, okay, so one monument there, one monument here. Did I did I get this marked in? Did not. There is that. Uh, and, uh, you know, yep, this one, that one, and oh, let's let's try this. If we, can, if we can get a little bit more steel, we have a little bit from importing. Um, I think maybe I'll get... Uh, this building completed so we can start getting our own concrete and then we'll need to build this 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 to get the gravel in there ongoing and then uh, this is actually connecting with a factory connection instead and so um, ooh, yeah this is expensive though this thing is really pricey let's not do that right now that means we don't need the factory connection either but if I can get this building completed we can bring cement into here. I think I want to start that process. Let's get cement deliveries going. Um, we might be able to use that that empty uh, distribution office that we just had that I just deleted, right? I can probably come over and uh, use another one of these small ones here. Maybe just connect it on like this. Should be all right. Uh, or can I get this rail connected? This is kind of bothering me. Can we get this rail... Just, just, actually, wait, that might be enough, because these are just solid roads now instead of intersections. Can we just get this? Yeah, that's good. All right, all the way and connected like so. Just so it's there. Okay. Uh, so with that done, should be a little easier now. We can go over to this temporary distribution office. I'm just going to add you here. And what I want here, unless they have a used one, I'm all right with that. Do we have any, like, dry bulk type things? Uh, I forgot what kind of truck does that. I think it's a special truck that does that. Yeah, dry bulk tank. So cement trucks, 9.4. We definitely want something that can handle a lot of cement. So I think I'm going to do at least one of these. At least one of these. And then... Uh, if we start making a lot of prefab panels and a lot of concrete, we're going to need two of these. Let's do two of these. 
And I think that'll be it for now. Just going to use this for two of those cement trucks. And the idea, of course, being that they will bring that cement uh, directly. So one truck will be responsible for this building. One is this building. Um, I think the concrete plant, though, what we're going to end up doing is... Actually, let's do this because we're going to use a lot more concrete, I think. Uh, cement here. So what I think we'll do is we'll have both trucks. We'll have uh, dedicated routes instead of the distribution office. We'll have them pick up cement. They'll come over here, drop off a full load. If they can't drop any, they'll drop off a full load. Then they'll come over here and unload and wait till, uh, wait till empty. So that way they'll fill this up. And any spare goes to this building. And they'll keep doing that. And eventually, if this is completely full, then they won't have anything to drop off here. And they'll drop the entire load here. Uh, but this like prioritizes the one where they need it now as opposed to the one where they just need it incrementally. But I think I'm all right with that. We'll go ahead and turn this on. And then the storage for prefabs is still under construction as well. So we'll probably get that started too. Take a look at our long train depot. It is nearly completed. Only needs 292 work days left. But this silly thing is still building this track, which I think is necessary. It, just because I need this thing to be able to transition and get this, this direction. Um, so we're going to let it keep doing that. But it really doesn't have that much track left to make on this side. Loyalty's low, huh? I mean, I'm working on the, the monuments for you. What else do you want from me here? Want another red star? Actually, what about this one? It, I like the 2% 400 meters. That's pretty good. I wish the Kiev Independence Monument would give loyalty, but I can kind of understand why it doesn't. Just saying. Um, but it's... Uh, I do wish it did. Maybe that's, a, maybe that's an error or maybe that's intentional. I mean, like I said, it makes sense to me that it's intentional, but... I don't know that. Um, what do we want to do for this space? Do we want a monument here or do we put something else in this spot? I feel like we could do something else in this spot. We don't actually have a city hall yet, which might be kind of a nice thing to have. Uh, or, you know what we could do, because we have research. I'm wondering, can we get... Uh, I think you need airports for this. Oh, it's in the medical university research, I bet. Uh, helicopters for the... I want helicopters for my hospital. I bet that's... Yeah, right here. Hospital helicopters. You gotta do air traffic study first, and then we can do fire helicopters, which could be cool. I kind of wanted to buy my first fire helicopter from the west. Because there's a really nice fire helicopter we can use for that. Um, so, I kind of want to go down that route. If I could, air traffic study would be first... But let's do the fire prevention first and let that let that continue. And then over here, let's do the pollution filters prototype. Because um, we can start getting things filtered, hopefully. So in this little spot here, I, again, I thought I had an idea of what I wanted to put here. But I really don't know anymore. Well, since I can't think of it, we'll just put the Red Star Monument there. Uh, it's a fine spot for it. We'll set it over maybe like this, right up against the police station. Makes sense, I suppose. Pop it there. And then uh, we'll just do a quick dirt pass. Is this done? Ooh, it is. This isn't, but this is done. That's nice. So I can just do that really quick. And then we'll add that to the queue too. So how much steel do we actually have in storage right now? Basically none. The good news is, look at our money. Oh, oh look at our exports to this month. 102,000. This is definitely exceeding our imports. So imports is only at 12K. It's very nice. And uh, yeah, our loan balance and stuff is getting paid through here too. So we should see our loans starting to come down a little bit. And uh, all things are very good that way. I like it. Um, looks like my cement trucks have decided to go get fuel really far away. So I kind of want to go find them. And I'm going to tell them actually to... Oh, I can't find them because they haven't actually reported for duty yet. Well, the nearest fuel station that actually has fuel should be this way. So maybe they're over here. I thought it would be right here, but I don't see them. Yeah, I don't really see them. This is, uh, meh. Well, okay then. Eventually, they'll report to the distribution office, and then we'll we'll get it from there. A whole bunch of people going into the coal mines. I haven't checked coal in a while. Probably should do that. So, coal ore, coal ore is gone. And this is no longer full. So, we have a potential issue there. 
But we've been cruising away on power exports, though. I don't know exactly what the percentage is. Of, uh, it's not bad, you know? You have, to, you have to remember that this resource right here, this requires no vehicles at all, right? Other than what we would already have to power our own Republic. So, like, this requires a trip to the border. This requires a trip to the border. It requires massive amounts of workers and processing to get this stuff. To where this is our standard power source, and it requires no trip to the border. And so, even though it's a smaller amount, there's also a less cost ongoing into, you know, actually exporting that resource. So I like that part too. I think that's what makes it worth it to me. Uh, this is coming along. Okay. Should I let this run for a little bit to just kind of get the asphalt and stuff sorted out, walking paths sorted out? I think they're mostly done with the ones that are important anyway. And we have lots of work. We have lots of people here. 5% unemployment. Happiness is going up now. Uh, you know, people are arriving in prison. That's a good sign. It means that we are... Uh, able to handle crime yeah i haven't really excused much lately so there we go so we are ahead of crime looks like right now we're doing pretty well that way okay good hospital is not fully yeah fully staffed fully staffed hospital doing pretty well um i think maybe we have yeah sewage no everything's fine yeah i think everything everything's looking uh pretty good so i'm gonna let it run just a little while though i i want to Make sure that I have actual substance in the video instead of just, like, waiting. So, I'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and bought another bus. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this this transfer route where they go back and forth between the two bus stations. I want to add another bus to that route. So, we're going to have this bus kind of start that process. And then on this line, there's now four buses that go between those two to bring passengers and students between those two stations. So that should be more than sufficient to handle any amount of like passengers and stuff that want to go through there. Now we currently have line spacing enabled and I think that's going to cause these buses to actually go quite slowly. Uh, so and I also like to give them the option to get repaired and stuff and get refueled without having to deviate because they also like lack fuel a lot of times. So what I'm going to do with this is we're going to start incorporating because we have four buses now. The lap time is 154 seconds. This should not take 154 seconds to get between these two things. It shouldn't. So in order to properly space out, they're definitely going slower than they should be. So we're going to say that what this bus is going to do, we, we don't want to do a load and unload on both stations like this to incorporate it into the end, the end station into it. If we incorporate this end station into this route, What's going to happen is we're going to pick up people and then they're going to be waiting over here. And I, I don't want that. So we need to like basically a, a route where you go one, two, th maybe, maybe you go like one, two, then you drop them off. Don't pick anyone up. Go to the end station. And then you pick people up, drop off, pick people up, drop off only go to the end station. Maybe that's the way we play this. So if that's the case, number two is up here. Number one is down here. So we would say... You start your route at, uh, well, we'd want to do it kind of like this instead. Uh, let's let's say you start your route here, and then you go here. So we're gonna delete that stop. Okay. So you start here. Uh, what you'll do is you'll load at this point. Then you'll, and you're only doing this much. And then over here, you're doing workers as well to bring them over to places. We're gonna say you don't do that, right? I don't want workers being picked up over here just to be taken over here when they could be going out and doing more productive things. So let's just cancel that right now. Uh, so for this route, what it's going to do, though, is we're going to say, so you, you, you do that. You pick both up. You drop them off at this one. And you're going to come over here. Next, you're going to go back to, to this one. And what you're going to do is you'll unload. You won't pick anyone up. And then you're going to come over and we'll incorporate that into the route. And that'll be the new change. So that's going to enable us to do a couple of things. It's going to mean that the buses, when people get picked up, they move over here faster because it's going to allow these buses to travel faster speeds. The other thing it's going to do is it's going to let these buses get automatically refueled in their route because buses, when they come in here with less fuel, as soon as they park, they're full. And that's excellent. That's exactly what we want from this end station. They don't have to deviate to go off to a gas station. Now, they also get, once this is up and running, we'll also get repairs going on here, too. And I probably should get this on the... I probably should get this started, actually. 
so we can get repairs over here. Uh, we also have this running now. People can now come off of this bus stop and they can come into here for our gravel recycling. So this is going to allow us to take this construction waste, which is almost full here, and we're now going to process it into gravel. We can't offload the gravel into this area yet, but it can fill up to up to 270 tons. And that's pretty good because right now we have like almost 800 tons of construction waste. And this is going to go at uh, about a two to three ratio is what it looks like. So that's not bad. We could process a pretty significant amount of this, probably bring it down to about here in that pile, which is pretty good until we get this stuff done, which is very expensive. But we've already delivered the steel for this. Whoa, I didn't know that. Hang on, 35 tons of steel. Okay, 8.2 delivered here, but this is already done. Never mind. I think that's worth doing. We delivered pretty much all the steel already, so let's go. Let's get that added too. Uh, we got the monument going. This is a full roundabout now. Fantastic news. I think now is the time to get, uh, let's do, yeah. This stinks. I don't like that. Let's uh, let's gut that road really quick. And then uh, now that this is all one segment, yeah. Can we do this again? Yeah, like right here. Can we? I'm not sure what that is. It must be for a walking path. Yeah. Um, can we get rid of? See, I can't get rid of this because then I can't get in here. So what I'd have to do is, yeah, bring it from another road somewhere. Here, let's do it from the other... Let's do it from... It's kind of weird, but we're going to do it from this side. Yeah, so just to allow them to get in here to finish this job, I want to remove this road. But I want them to be able to do this asphalt faster. Which is why I'm doing this, because I want the asphalt faster. So we'll just bring that back, and then what we'll do is we'll have this road come all the way out like this and meet up over here instead. This is fine. So that gives them a path to get over here, but it should allow me to mark this entire thing as one big project now. Yep. And there. Now that whole road can become an asphalt project. That's going to be great. Uh, unlike the stream series, I'm not going to make every road asphalt <laughs> this time around. So uh, only the important ones that I really want to like basically push them to use are going to become asphalt. We got this one done, that's cool. This one's nearly completed. Because that's already closed and people are using this one just fine at the moment, I can come over here and do this. And I think what I'll do here is we'll get rid of the walking paths, right? I can't get rid of that one because it's already asphalt and I don't want to do it. But at least we can make this a single project now. And because it's there's only two segments, they can access all of them right away. So we'll have these become, oh, Oh, right. You have to get this done before you can access it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. The roller's already on the scene, so that's good. We'll get that started, and uh, I'll actually shift that up to high priority at the moment. So I think we're ready to bring people in. I've started bringing people over here, of course, as you know. So we've got that going. This one is done. Not yet. I have medium priority on that. Did I even select it? I did not. There it is. That's why. And it looks like... We just need to get that one done, and then we can start bringing in people in this house. But, I mean, these places are almost full. And remember, we brought in a lot of uneducated people to this building, and 75 of them already have an education now. Right? So that's pretty good. We got more workers in here. I'm hoping that this means that we have a consistent workforce. That doesn't look encouraging at all. Um, I'm hoping that means we have a con consistent workforce over there. It probably means I need to add more buses, though. I'm betting... Oh, I can't buy vehicles from here. Uh, I'm betting that... Uh, do I have to buy them from... Tell me I have a road depot. All right. You know, I don't know where my road depots all are. I know there's one here. I can maybe b put you on a bitumen path. I have a lot of extra cisterns. I don't need this many anymore. Unless I'm selling the oil, which I don't have to. We could sell the fuel. Looks like we're keeping up with it. Their current... Yeah, we're keeping up with this. So I'm going to... Go ahead and have you go, and we'll just uh, eliminate that stopping part. So there's three on this route now. Three cisterns selling fuel instead of oil. We'll keep an eye on that supply and see if it starts dipping under 400. Uh, bitumen is looking pretty solid. We're able to fill the trucks, which is good. So I guess I could probably get another one. Let's just try that. We'll get one of these guys on that route, and we'll send you off to do that. So 
So that gives us three cisterns selling bitumen directly from this tank and three selling fuel directly from this tank. And I'm, I'm telling you, you can see it. It's right there. Okay. You know what I can't see, though? My freaking cement trucks. Where the hell did they go? Or did I buy them in here? Oh, I bought them in here. Oh. <laughs> I thought I bought them in this distribution office. Well, I don't need them anymore. It's fine. <laughs> I thought I bought them in there. All right. Uh, in that case, uh, because I've gotten a lot of the cisterns to sell oil now, we have some space in this road depot. So I think what I'll do is we're just going to have uh, all vehicles... Are gonna go here and of course it's not gonna it's not gonna do the trains this way so it'll be a yellow it means only a portion of them will have this but that'll mark a home for the cement trucks to come out of here and there they are okay finally found my cement trucks uh okay that's a big oopsie completely out of steel again I have to start buying that uh you got half no we don't have half delivered we got all of it delivered there that's nice and all of it delivered there and all of it delivered here this is all a worker problem at the moment what are you doing you know what i'll let you do one because you stop afterwards and then um i think i just need to get of course workers on this i don't know if they have been told to do so but i'm gonna maybe make that a high priority just to get that done and that way we can get gravel delivered here. And then the cement truck just needs to bring this. And once that happens, we can then get a, another construction office. I thought I was going to put it here, but I'm not sure with the rail. This rail was originally tighter in the plan, but I think we should be able to get a construction office right here. I'm hoping. So let's see if we can make that happen. Uh, construction office is way over here. And we want a... I was going to do a six vehicle one, but I'm like... Because that's the one that's in the plan that I have, which is right here. But I'm really digging on the idea of having a 12. And I, I just can't fit a 12 in here. I mean, unless I go on this side of the tracks. And I don't want to do that because there's a chance that I want to do uh, explosives over here. I haven't talked about that yet, but I plan to. I don't know if you can fit. Can you fit here? Is it good to fit here, though? I mean, it's a short drive. You, you drive from this point to the roundabout, and then you go get the concrete. It's not that far, but it's certainly not as close as this is. This is where I want it to be. Could put it here, too, I suppose, but that gets you on the wrong... Well, not really. I mean, if we do it off this road, it doesn't get you on the wrong side of the roundabout at all. You could just you just have to go around it to get... Yeah, no, it doesn't, because you're going you're gonna to go around it, be on this side, then go around it again. I really want you here. I might rethink how this rail curves. Because I have plenty of space here, right? I really wanted to get that construction office. I'm going to rethink the curve on this rail. I really don't want to take it all the way out from there, though. So let's maybe stop it here. And we'll rethink this rail a little bit. Uh, bring this back to about there. And then if I was to take you... Uh, let's place this first, actually. This is a good way to do it. Place what you want first, and then work the rail around it. So, I want this construction office to basically be right here. Okay? Kind of be right here. Okay, and you're going to have a road that goes... I wanted you to be right on the... I wanted you to be on the roundabout, but I'll have to deal with... Because if you're here, then to return, you have to go all the way around, and I don't want you to have to do that. But if you're on the roundabout, then you're good. So, that's a pretty sizable difference in, in travel there. <laughs> it's not that bad, actually, but I, it's it's not as good as it could be, all right? And that's what I'm aiming for. I want 12 cement trucks. I want 12, 12 cement trucks. Can I can I put you right here? Ugh. So close, man. There it goes. Uh, right there. You gotta be kidding me. Is it the snapping tool? Get rid of the silly snapping. No. No. Unacceptable, I say. There must be something I can do. That works. It's odd. It kind of overlaps this road a little bit, but that's what happens when you remove the snapping tool. So, okay. We'll do that. 
This is going to give me 12 cement trucks that can get right on the roundabout. They'll come out. They'll go this way. They'll go get the cement. The concrete. Sorry. Concrete trucks. They'll get the concrete. And then they go to their job site from there. So they're very, very close. So all my concrete trucks that are over there, all of those are going to now be transported over here as soon as this building is operational. And then we stop buying concrete too. Won't that be great? I think that'll be great. Now the rail needs to be redone. So let's just take a real quick look at that. And you need to come around this way. Right there. Okay. Uh, let's turn snapping back on. There we go. And then you're going to wrap around like that. Yep. And then I believe this is cl I believe that's adequate. Double checking distance. From here to here, 133, 168. Uh, it looks good to me. Has to be 150. Has to be uh, 155, right? And that's what we're trying to keep it under. From there to here. Ooh, this is bad. Ooh. 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 Ooh, ooh, ooh. How much room do I have to play with here? I think I have a little bit more, but not much. I need to move this up just a little bit. Let's just have you come up just a little bit more before that merger. Let's assume the signal is here. So the signal will be here. It means the train stops here. So we would want to have you be about like so. That's 150. Yep, that's good. Okay. That gives us the, the distance that we want there. And then over here, just double checking. Measure twice, cut once, right? Build once. Measure twice, build once. Yeah, there you go. Uh, looks good. Everything looks exactly spaced out what we need to, for distribution office, right? Remember, the rail is designed for the train distribution office. So uh, we just have to keep that 155 number uh, in mind as we go. So that gives me everything I want in the world. Even water is done directly to concrete. Water's ready to rock. Uh, we should have it in the... Yep, it's in the tank. 91% is more than sufficient for that. So that's going to work. Uh, sewage is set up. Good. Water is set up. Ready to rock. Excellent. And the walking path to the prefab panels is nearly done too. Um, and we should see, I believe, the walking path to concrete is already in place. So we don't need to do anything there. Fantastic. Everything's coming together, except for electricity. That's still a problem for some reason. I just, I just don't know. Um, I have reduced the workers that are in these buildings, so trash will begin to pile up again. We will start to see trash build up, and that's okay. Uh, we want to make sure that if this building is working, I would like it to be working at the maximum that it can work at, like efficiency-wise. So I'm actually going to go ahead and just cut it. We're going to have no workers there at all. And then uh, I think from here, we'll just leave this as a skeleton crew at the moment. So maybe we'll do like two. That way we can get a little bit of impact on that, but nothing really. Maybe this starts to fill up a little bit. When this gets to 270, then we pop this back on. And that also gives time for the ash to dissipate over time because the ash will go away, but it's very slow. So we want this to kind of dissipate to get Ron down to zero before we start turning this stuff on. So that's why we still have the three... Uh, the three dumps and each of our each, each of our offices and stuff are dumping in different ones so they don't interfere with each other and we have a huge capacity for for mixed waste so there we go that's why it's set up that way look at my money oh ho, ho. hey what do you think should we uh should we invest this or pay down the loan a little bit hmm what do you think can we can we get a little cocky maybe we dump a hundred grand into this i think we don't I think we don't. I think we continue with the path of investing in our future. And that means I'm going to need some steel, boys and girls. So go ahead. Get me prefabs. Get me steel. Off you go. Go spend the money. <laughs> Everyone's like, no, you want to remove your debt first. What are you doing? <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate it. I hope you guys will like the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll continue where we left off. I don't know if we did a whole lot today, really. I mean, we didn't really do a whole lot. But I, I got I got to get the roads done. And I, I'm kind of, you know, trying to make sure we got a lot of workers. Winter is coming. And we must make sure that we have plenty of workers for the winter. Uh, this building is now done. That walking path is completed. 
yes, this walking path is done, so I can start inviting people in. But before I do that, I would actually really like to know what it costs for a foreign helicopter. And I won't know that until I do the research for... Uh, for well, I can always install the helipad, but I want to I wanna build this after um, the research is done for it, just so I know. So I think we'll do the air traffic study now. Uh, we'll save the pri fire prevention for later. I might I might regret that, but we'll save it for later. We'll do the air traffic study now. That'll give us on the path to getting helicopters for our fire department. And then over here for the pollution filters installation, after the first prototype is done, the installation filters for the industry can begin, which will result in 15% less pollution from the chimneys of factories, which means hopefully that we can see an increase uh, in the ability available uh the available land in which i can build homes on because i would like to maybe get some homes over in this area which gets us closer possibly i don't think so actually but possibly in walking range to something <laughs> i don't know actually it'd be really cool if i could put a house like houses right here and then have walking range to the food factory that would solve a lot of my problems because, like, I have to make this a max 150 and I'm kind of robbing workers from the other factories in order to make sure food is up. So getting someone who can walk to food would just make my day, man. I would love that. So I have to keep working on that. And by reducing the pollution, uh, I think that might be possible. So we'll do pollution filters next, okay? Thank you for watching. We'll see ya. Bye-bye.